Hi YouTube, so I'm back with another video. Um, I wanted to make today's video about like growing up. I want my YouTube to be more like a get to know me on a personal level because like Instagram and TikTok, I don't really speak on my life and who I am. So my YouTube is going to be more in depth and personal about who I am. So, okay, so let's get right into it. Growing up, I have an older brother and a younger sister. My mom and my dad were never together. Um, she had me when she was 19. She had my brother when she was 16. So she was a young mom as well. We lived in a really small town in Ohio. Um, my mom is black and my dad is white. They were never together. Um, so when I was born, I didn't really have a father figure. I never really had a father figure at all. Um, my sister's dad was in my mom's life by the time I was born. So growing up, that's who I had to look up to as a man in my life. Um, so growing up, we really didn't have much. Uh, I'm used to living with the bare minimum and going to school and being told oh you gotta work you gotta um go to school go to college get a job get married like my mom is a christian she still to this day is a christian and i don't knock anybody else's beliefs i grew up in a christian household if you want to call it that because because they don't ever practice what they really preach i'm gonna just say that um um i don't believe in jesus being a real person i went to church my grandmother was a christian all of my family's a christian um it's just it always fell off to me going to church i never liked going to church there was nothing about church that made me excited really like going to school monday through friday and then having saturday as an off day and then waking up sunday morning and having to go do something like why do we always have to wake up and do do something like why is it that when it's time for us to sleep then we have to find something to do like i think that was like the biggest pet peeve of mine like why are we going to school five times during the week and then on our days off we have to go do something like i swear as a kid i always question everything i've always questioned everything but like i've had a rough childhood because i always was taken advantage of i always was lied to manipulated like i really was confused honestly like my whole childhood i was like i guess this is just life like <laughs> i always question everything but another part of me was like i guess this is just what it is like because when you're in your head and you have like this outlook on what life should be but your reality doesn't match it really confuses the fuck out of you you're like i don't get it why is this the way it is you know what i'm saying so as a kid I developed a mindset to where I had to accept things for what they were when in actuality that's a generational curse I'm gonna make um, another video about that but just accepting things for the way they are and not questioning nothing doesn't make sense it never made sense to me I always question myself but when I questioned out loud that's when you're like people are looking at you like you're fucking crazy and who are you to say this you know what I'm saying so I had a lot of throat chakra issues as a child because speaking up, I couldn't do that because this is how it is. This is this is the way it's supposed to be. I didn't have a voice. So I, I am so grateful for the platform that I have today because as a child, this this having YouTube and um, TikTok really heals my inner child doing this because I'm talking. I never had that ability and chance to talk as a child on what I really feel. So yeah, um, my grandmother died when I was like 17. 
I didn't really have a lot of people in my life. Like I had an aunt, I grew up with cousins. I do have a lot of cousins, but honestly, like everyone in my family has stabbed me in my back some point in time. I can't name one person in my family or a friendship in my whole entire life, not just my childhood, because I was talking about um, growing up in my childhood, but even then, like, I never had more than one friend at a time. I always was, like, aligned with one person. To, you would think my life is a fucking movie around this bitch. <laughs> like, I was always aligned with one person that was there to teach me something. Now that I'm older, I realize that, like, growing up, like, I had one best friend. I realized that she was not really a good friend. I had stopped being friends with her, found another friend that literally was like the same person in a different body. Literally, that's how when I started waking up to my spirituality, I realized that once you start paying attention, a lot of this shit is a game. And at first I'm like, these people ain't even fucking real people. Like how can these people be real people when they are doing the same shit? How? But you realize like the universe is going to use you. <laughs> it's gonna use you for other people and people, those people are gonna be used as well. It's all a fucking game. So growing up, now I see like a lot of it makes kind of sense. Um, I still question a lot of things that happened in my childhood. Um, I don't even want to get into depth about a lot of the fucked up shit that happened to me as a kid. But like just to sum it up and how I grew up in a Christian household, um, not really having no space to be myself or to speak. Um, I didn't grow up with no dad. My sister's dad was around. They were never really together. I've seen a lot of domestic violence in my childhood. That's what I grew up believing was love. Let's let's talk about that. Like as a child, I seen a lot of domestic violence and a lot of fighting. And I thought honestly as a child and then for her to get back with like it's not even just my mom a lot of women in my family were fighting with their husbands divorcing getting new partners doing this like arguing and i seen a lot of that growing up even my grandmother had three husbands so a love was so confusing for me. Like, what is this? Is this how it's supposed to be? So when I grew up, I took on that genetic <laughs> fucking generational curse of thinking this is what love is and this is what you have to settle for. Because as a kid, this is all I seen. Oh, but you took them back after they did that? That must be love. That must be unconditional love. The fact that you, you argue with them and fought, but you still stayed with them. This is love. So when I grew up and I had my sons and I started, you know, getting into my own patterns, I started realizing like I'm literally doing the same shit that my camera around because the lighting started getting bad. Okay, but what I was talking about was the generational curse in my family and how I grew up thinking that that was love. This is something I had to break on my own. This was a toxic karmic cycle in my life thinking that this was love. And this is something from my childhood, I had brung into my adult life and started repeating cycles that other women in my family started. And that's how it works. One person does it, kids see it, and they think that's what they're supposed to do and subconsciously repeat the same things. So yeah, um, poverty, <laughs> toxic couples um parenting skills all of that is generational curses that i am going to be breaking and i have been breaking um but it all started in my childhood because that's how it starts <laughs> that's where you start programming your mind literally as a child so i did just want to get on here and speak a little bit about um just like an introduction about my childhood because i'm going to start making videos about um childhood trauma and healing your inner child generational curses 
and all of that stuff. Um, so I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Um, and also like your siblings, they, when you break these curses, they're going to have to break their own curses. It's not like, oh, you're going to break it and everyone's going to be magically healed. No, you can only heal yourself. You can only heal yourself from your childhood. And then if you do have kids, make sure that you, you know, when you heal yourself, you're going to bring forth kids into this world or if you already have kids that are already healed because you're not going to put that trauma onto them you're already gonna know like this ain't right this isn't how i'm gonna do things because if you weren't healed you're doing what you're repeating cycles you're yelling at your kids you're showing them that you're in a toxic relationship and this is what love is and then they're gonna grow up and do the same thing so um, childhood has so much to do with this spiritual community because this is where it all starts. This is the roots of being spiritual is your childhood. When you're a child, you're woke. <laughs> you might not remember, but you know so much as a child. It's when you're told all these opinions, then you start believing this is you. You start believing that you're this person that everyone tells you you are because that's what your mind is made of opinion school your mom telling you who you are your dad telling you who you are your sister your brother like if you got bullied in school like it all shapes up to this one person that you become and that's why when you become an adult you have to unbecome everything that everyone told you to be because that's not who you ever really were like, go back to the time, if you can remember who you were before anyone ever told you who you were, before you ever learned anything, like when you first came into this world. Like, my kids show me all the time who they are. My kids really have personalities without anyone ever telling them, this is how you should act. They all act different. They all are different from each other. They all like different things. And I like them to be free to be who they are because I don't want to, you know, push them into a box. People should be free to express themselves. Um, but I'm going to cut this video short because I'm going to make another video soon. So I love y'all. Like and subscribe.